Southport Urban Responsible Renewal, better known as SPUR, formed as a result of the massive urban development plan of Fishman's Bend. SPUR aims to be a credible voice for the community, exchanging information and ideas between the government planners and the public. In 2012, Matthew Guy and the Napthine administration announced the rezoning of this large tract of land, which initiated a land grab of opportunistic speculators. Though promoted as a balance of industry and high quality of life, the massive scale has caused the outcry, where is the infrastructure? Developers united to propose a set of 40-storey towers on all four corners of Normby Road and Montague Street with no provisions for open space, community services or traffic management. Their proposed transit planning will not be sufficient to provide for the projected volume of 80,000 workers with no strategic foresight of how to create a hub and build tram routes from across the Yarra. The increased traffic of the newly expanded Webdock container port will offer another major area of congestion with no alternative outlets. Due to lack of forethought, the government spent millions of dollars to buy back attractive land at market rate for the park next to the new primary school. But millions of dollars more than they should have had to pay for it. Leading up to World War II, this large tract of land known as Fisherman's Bend developed into an essential location for industrial and commercial development. Aircraft factories, an airfield, chemical plants and manufacturing expanded to support the military during the war. Holden and Roots built massive facilities. Later on, Fisherman's Bend continued to function with industry and commerce while the Westgate Bridge was built and continued after Roots and Holden factories closed their doors. Spur is concerned that already existing IT businesses and small industry will not be able to pay inflated rents and they'll have to move out. By narrowing the streets to benefit the school children, already existing commercial industries who need truck and car access will not be able to operate. Spur initiated a proposal to unify community interests into a funding model to pay for the necessary infrastructure that individual landowners cannot provide. We will continue to push for planning decisions that preserve our heritage buildings. We'll also make sure the government and its planners take the community views into account. Giving the voice back to the community. Transparency and communication will lead to progress.